Will Victor Valdez's 85th minute error ultimately prove costly for Tita Villanova's Barcelona? Where the Catalans already shown they have too much for Jose Mourinho's misfiring Madrid. These games, you cannot say this is a favourite of the other one. I think that the Real needs to win. The atmosphere in the, in the stadium is uh, fantastic. And Barcelona, as I said before, credit to them because they went to the Bernabeu Stadium and they play well and they are winning a lot of a lot of games. So I think that the, the pressure is on Real Madrid because it was working and that's clever for him. And uh, no, I poke this time around. Sorry, no poke in the eye this ah, time. You're right, yeah. And uh, well, as a personality, he was he was a quiet lad. To be honest, he was uh, very very quiet, maybe even a bit shy, and, and maybe not playing fantastic football yet, but uh, scoring goals is uh, incredible. Okay, well, this is a massive game for both teams with a chance to win the first trophy of the season, and there for us at the Bernabeu, Jerry Armstrong and Rob Palmer. Over the last two years, this is the thirteenth time they've done battle in the various competitions. The equivalent of a community shield, but nothing is ever a friendly when Barcelona and Real Madrid are on the same stage together. Just a goal separates the side after a, an anguished finish last week. Because for once he got it wrong. Well, he made the substitution, didn't he? The full-back went off and within 30 seconds they had scored. Now here's Messi. Here we go, is Lionel Messi. Balls nicely for Iniesta. In from the wing is Pedro, has a, an excellent record against... Is Adriana, who started the game at right back? We were expecting and the official team sheet said that it'd be Danny Alves on the right and Adriano on the left. But uh, here is little of the two global stars Messi and Ronaldo. There is little Messi, Alba. He's an exciting new signing at left back, Messi. Adriano. Will that come to haunt them towards the end of the season? Oh, oh look at this the other end. With a brilliant defence putting pass and Alexis um, is having a personal war with Pepe. Seems to roll down his arm. Meanwhile, Lionel Messi takes on Pepe, sticks out of foot. That was a dangerous thing to do, but a, enough of an obstacle for Lionel Messi to get around. Oh, listen, players, defenders who take chances trying to beat forwards on the edge of their own box, they're asking for trouble. Ozil flips it in. Xavi to Messi. Pedro makes the darting run, no mistake from uh, Arbola. Di Maria. Well, sharp was about both teams. Di Maria teasing and tantalizing Lionel Messi of all people. Pepe goes in, and I think he was caught by a little bit of afters there from Lionel Messi. He was. I think you're right, Rob. He's been brave to go in. And there was a little bit of a high challenge comes in. Players are actually asking questions from the referee. You can see there he goes high and he catches him well above the top of the ball, Messi. I don't know if it's intentional, but certainly it was a free kick. Maybe a sign of his frustration at not seeing much of the ball tonight. <laughs> well, over the, yeah. the obvious thing would be to bring Busquets back into the uh, into the defence, but hasn't called for that yet. He's stayed with the the three. Lionel Messi he eased his way past Arbola, 21-year-old who's only played half a dozen games for Barcelona. That's the biggest game of his life. Well, he's decent, I like Montoya, but this is a big game to be thrown in. At the deep end, down to 10 men. Here's, here's Iniesta working his magic. Iniesta to Messi, Messi to Iniesta. Messi believing that his path was intentionally blocked. One of the contracts and he comes back into the training squad. Well, Gran Granero is nearly a done deal, isn't he? He's definitely heading for the Premier League. I just wonder, Kaka would be a good uh, inclusion for the Premier League. Now Messi's on there a break. There goes Lionel Messi, trying to feed Albert. 
and playing his way out of trouble is Pepe. And to readjust again with Adriano, getting a straight red card. PK and Mascarano getting assists in the Real Madrid goals. Messi, Xavi, referee didn't like the challenge from Xavi Alonso. I'd say the Rob. 50,000 hushed Real Madrid supporters. Barcelona with uh, well, their first potential shot at goal. And Xavi and Messi. It's Messi's free kick. Oh, it's a brilliant little Messi goal. Now that is another twist and turn. This is some strike from long range against a top-class goalkeeper, I tell you. That's a fabulous goal from Lionel Messi. Right on the stroke of half-time. Tepe's not happy. They love the one in two goals up. Have a look at this. It's at least 30, 35 yards. When he whips it outside the wall, he hits this outside the wall, round the outside of the wall, and then it curls inside the far post. That is world-class. That is messy class. That's above world class, Jerry. Well, he's not too far away, Cristiano Ronaldo here. Well, I feel rather stunned then about the moment. Maybe they don't appreciate just how well their team have done. Two goals gifted to them. Higuain and Ronaldo taking advantage. Adriano off, but little Messi making a real match of it. Living up to the billing. Adriano pulled down the Portuguese and Barca down to ten men. They looked out of it. But who else but Lionel Messi stepping up with a wonderful free kick to make it 2-1, 4-4 on aggregate. But as it stands, Real Madrid win the Supercopa. Uh, Rafa, what does Villanova need to do in the second half in terms of tweaking things? Obviously, he has to attack. But uh, we say before, the plan, the game plan of Real Madrid is to play direct uh, behind the defenders. So it will be a big risk for Barcelona, but they have to do it. They have to attack. And they had uh, Messi to the rescue. So we will see what happens in the second half, but I don't mm. see. Okay, we'll expect more goals in the second half. We join our commentary team with Jerry Armstrong and Rob Palmer. Well, pretty much as we expected. Feisty game, red card, goals from Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. You know, took a lot out of them as well. The game against Osasuna up in Pamplona, they really had to give their maximum to win that game. Some neutrals felt they... They did him a favour, didn't they? <laughs> Lionel Messi. Giving that little bit extra teaser for Chami. This game's still alive. It is, and... Uh, Sammy Gadeer, is he going to get a booking <laughs> for that or just a free kick? Or does he go with Modric? Oh, that's definitely a, yeah, it was a foul. He's, he's, he's not nowhere near the ball. Messi's knocked the ball past him. He's taken Messi out. And the applause for first sighting of the new boy. From the spur. I would imagine that Messi's going to go for goal and then hope for any seconds. It takes a deflection. Sting is taken out of it. And uh, Pedro was through and goal. Benzema last year with 32 goals is one option. Luka Modric, the new boy in town, is the other option should they be required. Pedro gets around, but Amosson tries to put it through the legs of Ike Casillas, who's been by far the busier of the two keepers. And that would have been some goal. Now, this is the Pedro one at the other end, and it's a tight angle, and Casillas knows that. He just keeps his leg closed. and The legs are beginning to go. I'd be surprised if Ozil is... Uh, Playing his last minutes now. There's a good run from Montoya. Little Messi, haven't seen a great deal of him apart from that electrifying goal. Oh, and he's taken out of the ball by Xabi Alonso. Seen that, says the referee. Xabi to Busquets. Messi. Rash. The challenge from Ramos. Even though he's still very young. Your question, Jerry, in his career. He's still only 26 years of age. Well, 
think you have to look at someone like Ballesteros, who's in his 30s, mid-30s. With teammates, as we are about to see Song coming on for his debut. Yeah, we'll make uh, his first appearance for uh, Barcelona, and the ball goes out of play. Could be a restart for a goal. Almost. There's been a series of almost tonight for Rail in the second half. Higuain leaving his mark on his uh, fellow countryman, Lionel Messi. There is another goal in this game, but which way will it sway? Alex Song gets his first touch of the ball. He wears that Barcelona kit. It's a little like Yaya Toure, isn't he? Big presence in midfield, lovely ball through. In. Fantastic ball, Casillas is rounded, but Ramos is to the rescue, taking it off the toe of Jordi Alba, who had sneaked it, ratted in there. What a run from the, well, left back allegedly. Times it perfect, off the shoulder. Well, I think it's Pepe that he comes in off the shoulder of. He's the one that's maybe a yard behind the full-back. It's a muscle off the ball by PK. Oh, now Real want the ball putting out of play. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> well, he's back up on his feet again, Xavi Alonso. Chasing, biting, kicking. Such a screaming as well. Losing his uh, nerve, losing his temper. The referee just calming things down. Tell you, asking for some protection. Uh, Barcelona can put, put a put ball in the box and someone gets on the end of it. Yeah, nobody in the president's box quite uh, attaching the ribbons to the trophy just yet. Messi flips it in over the head of Son, but a misdirected header. Needed a call, didn't he, Sergio Ramos? Yeah. Somebody should have told him. Shabby, the corner taken. Helped on by PK, controlled by Messi. Son, Messi. Tellio takes a deflection, came off the chest of Ramos, did so well to keep his arms out of the way as well. Yeah, corner kick. Well, the play was brilliant, the cutback from Benzema was superb, and the shot from Luka Modric was on target. And it still came on. Oh, Messi stopped by Ramos. Look at the chances we've had in 60 seconds either end, Rob, but still... Oh, there's this plenty left in this final second. chapter Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll be a two-minute chapter, but there's going to be something in it. Here you go. Rest assured, it's young Montoya, the substitute. Can he make himself a hero? No, the hero is Ike Casillas once more. Well, we've had, I think, four shots in the last three minutes at either end. Goalkeepers making saves, defenders making blocks. One final flurry here from Barcelona. Iniesta. Alex Song. Messi. Messi pulls back the trigger. <laughs> the bullet went flying past the ear of Ica Casillas. He had won like that in the first half at Barcelona last week. And it was exactly the same type of a finish. He created the angle on his left foot. Alex Song does well. Good pass outside and then whips it with pace just wide of the far post. Could that have been the decisive moment between Barcelona picking up the Super Cup and Real Madrid picking it up and they're seconds away from the first trophy of the season. Well, the Real Madrid supporters who have been uh, hypnotised by this game in the second half into silence. Monstrous in defence have been Real Madrid in the second half. Remember, they've had a player more. Adriano was sent off, and it's complete. The first trophy of the season goes to Jose Mourinho. It was a classic, classic. It had all of the usual ingredients: a flurry of yellow cards, a red card, goals. Jerry Real edging it, probably overall on the chance count. Just about so. Absolutely, first half, fantastic. First half hour could have been 6-7-0 with Real Madrid creating chance after chance. But Barcelona recovered second half with 10 men and made a really good game of it. I'm surprised we didn't have more goals, but that was due to poor finishing and fantastic goalkeeping at the other end. Iker Casillas made three or four big saves, as did Victor Valdez. And both sets of players deserve a lot of credit. But I think psychologically, Jose Mourinho is going to be well chuffed that his lads have responded. They've been poor in the last two or three games, but this is the perfect response, and maybe this will kick-start the season for Real Madrid.